Hey everyone, this is Kathy from Kdell Handmade and I wanted to welcome you to my video for the Moon Dance Sewing Marathon. The Moon Dance Notepad Holder is a pattern by Sincerely Jen and we're going to start with going over the pieces that we're going to need. So all of the measurements are provided in the pattern. You're going to have a couple stabilizers here, a couple main stabilizers, and then a smaller piece of stabilizer. You're also going to need your exterior piece, and I'm using this vinyl here. So you have the one exterior piece there. Then you will need, <clears throat> excuse me, you will need your two main lining panels. So you have two of those. You will also need your lining center. I have one of those. You will need an angled pocket there. And then you will need your card slot pocket. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our main outer piece. You're going to lay it right side down. And then we need to attach the stabilizers to the inside of that vinyl. And you will see they will just go like that. There's a diagram in the pattern instructions to show how they will be um, attached to your notebook cover. Um, but you will go ahead and fuse these in place. Optionally, you can also attach them with glue to help hold them in place. Um, so that is the first step. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we have that fused on, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our lining center in the center of the panel here. So on the wrong sides of your lining center piece, let's go ahead and use a couple pieces of double-sided tape. And I'm using 1 8 inch double-sided tape here. And I will link in the pattern, um, or in the video description notes, I will link to where I got all of the the material and the hardware and stuff that I'm using for this pattern. Okay, so that's centered right over the center of that panel. Now that you have this part done, we can go ahead and set this to the side for now. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is work on the panel that is going to be on the right side that our notepad will slide into. So you'll need one of your lining panels and then your smaller stabilizer piece. On the back, we're going to attach it to the top. So make sure if you have directional fabric, this is going to be at the top. There are directions and measurements for how far down you want this attached. Once you get that to the right um, position, go ahead and fuse that in place. Okay, once you get that fused in place, there are instructions on how to, where to mark um, a line across the center here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a hole punch. We're going to punch holes right in the ends here, and then we're going to cut this line straight across. So let me grab my hole punch. Okay, and I'm using a Japanese hole punch here. So I'm just going to make a hole right there at the ends and then using a rotary cutter I'm going to cut a straight line between those two dots and let's see I think I that one's close. This one needs to be a little bit closer. You can always go ahead and use a pair of scissors if you don't feel confident enough with using the rotary cutter to get in there. Okay, so there we go. Now we got our hole cut, um, our line sliced I should say, and then the two side holes punched. Now what we need to do is we need to grab our main lining, or our exterior, I should say, our main exterior. We're going to take this that we just made with the cuts, 
and we're going to line it up here on the right side of the notepad and clip it in place. Okay, once you have that clipped in place, we can set this to the side. Next, we are going to work on our other panel here with the two pockets. So setting that to the side, you're going to take your other lining panel, laying it down right side up. You're going to need your angled pocket and you're going to need your card slot. Okay. So first, working with your angled pocket and your card slot, we're going to, I'm just going to add a piece of double-sided tape just to help hold it in place here along the bottom edge. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can always use um, clips if you have the longer clips, but I just like to use double-sided tape. So I'm going to measure that according to what is in the pattern instructions. Once you have that in place where it should be, you're going to stitch it down, across, and back up. So you're leaving this top open, obviously, for your card slots. So stitch down the two short sides and across the bottom. Okay, once you have that pocket sewn on, you're going to now attach your angled pocket to your lining panel here. So there are measurements provided in the pattern instructions. You're going to measure it in from the side and up from the bottom at the same amount. I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of double-sided tape here again just to help hold it in place. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to stitch down this long side and then across the bottom edge. Okay, again stitching across here and then across here and then up to this. So down, across, and this. And so you're leaving this angled open and you're leaving this top open. Okay, now that that is stitched, you can see this is open down to here and then it's attached here across the bottom and along this long edge. So the next thing we need to do again is to grab our main pocket or our main panel and we're going to line this up on the left side here okay and then we're going to clip this one in place just like we did on the other side Okay, and then once it's clipped in place, you are going to, according to the seam allowance in the pattern instructions, you are going to stitch all the way around the outside edge. Okay, so that is stitched all the way around. The last thing I will do here is just trim off my extra string. I don't have any loose strings hanging off.
And then optionally, if you want to, you can use a ruler and then just take and just trim up those side edges. If you heard that, my dog just came in to say hello. <laughs> I think he wants to go outside. So I'm just doing this to even off my edges. As you can see here, this one, the bottom, the inside panel is a little bit longer. So just to have it nice and smooth. And then also that helps a lot if you want to do any sort of edge painting um, anything like that on the edge. It helps to have a nice straight edge. Okay, once you have that done. The last thing we are going to do is we are going to stitch a box around here. So this is enclosing this piece and this piece. It's attaching it to your main um, panel. So we're going to sew up, across, and back down, just creating that, that box right there. One optional feature that you can add to this is if you wanted to add a uh, pen loop. So what you could do is you just take a strip of double-sided or um, fold, double fold, double-sided, whatever, elastic, <laughs> and then you're going to tuck it under both sides of the panels. So you can tuck it in right there, make sure it's equal underneath so that you catch it when you're stitching around. And then you can stitch your box around and then you can just slide a pen in there um, when you want to use one. Okay, once you get that all stitched on, you can see the pen, little elastic for the pen holder there. And then if you can see, it kind of provides a, a bit of a, I call it a spine, I guess. But when you fold it closed, you've got that piece right there that I like that. I like that little added feature. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do is put stuff in it. So here's a card, a business card. Um, probably could hold credit cards as well if you wanted to do that, but that's a great little slot for that. This is a junior size legal pad. So that just goes in here. And then if you have a pen, you can slide that in there. And there you go. Your moon dance notepad holder is complete. Guys, this is so cute. I can see this doing really well at craft shows and um, even back to school, um, office gifts, teacher gifts, any little thing. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, um, like and subscribe if you haven't already and happy sewing.